welcome welcome again to this channel guys my name is alphonse foku as you know welcome to the channel of technician channel of entrepreneur channel of business people as you know we talk about business here on this video i will teach you how to test the fuse i'll show you how to read the fuse i'll show you how to recognize a faulty fuse and different type of fuels guys we use fuse to prevent the short circuit in our devices use fuse to prevent the burning of our appliances we use fuse to protect our electronic circuit we use fuse to protect our electrical appliances guys it's very good to know what kind of fuse your appliances your electronic your electronic device your electronic circuit your electrical circuit is using it's very important to know how to test it and it is more important as well to know how to read the prescribed the prescribed current so that you'll be able to replace the damaged fuse with the real equivalent of the fuse who not going to disappoint you because if you use a low current in the place of higher current fuse is still going to cut and you'll be thinking there's a problem in your device and remember if you replace a damaged fuse with their original prescribed fuse and then if this fuse cut again or burn meaning you got short circuit in your appliance meaning you got a short circuit in your electronic devices or you got a short circuit in your electrical installation so be aware it's not because the fuse is cut that if you replace it you automatically work the fuse may cut for two reasons the fuse can cut just because there was a short circuit on your installation the fuse can cut because there are a component on your electronic board or electronic circuit who's in short circuit so be careful when you replace your fuse guys follow me till the end of this video i'm going to share with you what is the fuse and how you can use your fuse in your electronic appliances in your electronic circuit stay tuned till the end let's share <laughs> guys what is the fuse how do you test a fuse how do you recognize a faulty fuse? What is the important role of the fuse inside your appliances, inside your electronic circuit, inside your electrical circuit, or inside your electrical installation? Welcome to my channel. Welcome to the channel of technician. Welcome to the channel of, of entrepreneur. And welcome to the channel of business people. My name is Alphonse Foucault. Today we'll be talking about fuels as I have seen in my introduction. But before we go there, I'm going to beg you, I'm going to ask you to give five seconds of prayer in the name of my best friend, my colleague, my brother. Ooh, some evil people have decided to take his life on the 15th. 15 of this man on his business place they decide to took his life it's painful thank you very much today we're going to be talking about the fuse i'm going to explain to you how the fuse work and what is the fuse let's go straight to the thing look at this this is a fuse this is the fuse and then if you open your appliance you always find something like this if you open your television you obviously find a fuse like this and then inside this fuse we got a electrical wire this electrical wire could be made on aluminium copper silver so this electrical wire have a particularity of be capable to burn or be capable to cut when the current flow on this fuse 
from this terminal and the other terminal the current flow and then when the current flow on those two terminal if that current is higher than the prescription current on the fuse the fuse wire will cut and when the fuse wire cut it protect your appliances or your electronic circuit guys i'm going to use a fuse who's actually a little bit bigger so that you can see what is going on check at this fuse check at this fuse you can see this fuse actually this fuse got 10 written on it i don't know if you can see it very well but this is the fuse Guys, a fuse is using in any type of electronic appliances. And the fuse is a component who actually the role is to protect your appliances or to protect your electronic circuit or to protect your electrical circuit. So if you open your appliance, you look at the power supply, you always see the fuse. And the fuse can come from different type of uh, form so the physical type of fuse you will have in your electronic appliance it can be deferred but I will show you the common one you use in the electronic appliances like TV like your radio like your amplifier so when you open your uh, electronic board you're gonna find a board this is the power supply and you check where the, there's a fuse this is the fuse this one is a fuse on this board, okay? I'll show you another board and you see the fuse. Like this board, this is a fuse. This is a fuse, okay? This is a fuse on the electronic board. I'll show you another one. You see the difference between others. Look at this. This on this board, this one I'm touching here is a fuse, okay? But the fuse work the same way. So if I show you how one fuse work, you must know that the how that fuse work. So you got a board where you always get a fuse. So this one is a fuse. This one is a fuse. And then you got a holder. The fuse got the holder as you can see here. Now, when you got a fuse like this one, this is a fuse. I'm holding it like this so that you can see. We got a terminal on the fuse year and year we got a terminal on the fuse and between this terminal we got a wire crossing around the fuse we call it fuse wire and that fuse wire is made it can be made on silver copper aluminium so what happened with the fuse listen carefully that is a good part of the fuse if you understand this one you will know how to test your fuse. So when the fuse work in the electronic device or electrical device or inside your appliance, the current will come from your electrical plug. Firstly, flow on the fuse. So when the current come from your electrical plug, it flow on inside the fuse. And, and it flow inside that current will link this terminal and this one. And that current can be limited. So any kind of fuse will tell you the limited current will need to be flow on that fuse. So if you exceed the current prescribed by the manufacturer of the fuse, what's going to happen? The wire will cut. And then when it cut, the current will not flow anymore. And then that's how you protect your appliances. So when the current flow, when the current is flowing inside the wire of the fuel, exceed the limit of the current prescribed by the manufacturer of this fuse, automatically the fuse will cut and then you protect your device. So the particularity of the fuse for you is to know what is the intensity, maximal intensity of your fuse. 
and when you know the intensity maxima of your fuels you always replace it with the same intensity of the fuels like this one i'm holding here so the amperage of this fuse is 10 m the current flow must not exceed 10 m if the current flow on this fuse exceeds 10 m this fuse will cut and that's how you're gonna protect the device where the fuse is actually mounted on so if this fuse this fuse is for microwave for instance the power supply got the fuse this is for microwave so it got to support maximum of 10 m if you have a short circuit in the house and the current of your house flow more than 10 m when you plug your microwave and this fuse is inside your microwave you're going to receive overload of current and when you receive that overload of current for more than 10 m this fuse will cut and then you protect your microwave that is the case in your microwave but most of the time in the electronical device like a tv you're gonna have a fuse of 3 m a very low intensity a very low current like this one if you check this fuse it got a holder and year and year and it got a terminal and year and year it's flowing on this fuse a maximum of 4m so if you got a short circuit in the power supply of this board if the intensity if the current is more than 4m the wire inside this fuse will cut will burn and cut that's how you're gonna protect the rest of the electronic component so the fuse is here to protect your electronic circuit your component here so when the intensity the current of the fuse go higher than the prescribed intensity your fuse will cut that's how it protects your electronic appliance, your electronic secret. So guys, if you did understand the way I explain your fuse, you understand that if I put my meter year and year, it should give me a continuity test. If I put my meter year and year, it should give me a continuity test or a bars test. And from there, I will conclude that my fuse is good because it's giving me a continuity test. Let's take a meter like this one, multimeter like this one. I'm going to put it on continuity test or bars test. If I use this meter and then I put it on the two end of my fuse and then it make a noise, meaning that my fuse is good. Okay so let's try put the meter down and then i'll just put the end of the meter in one end and the other end you hear the noise meaning that the fuse is good meaning that the fuse is good so if this fuse was cut you're not going to make that noise so simple to test your fuse put your meter on the continuity test and see if you got a bars or you put it on ohm meter test and see if you got a 00, 00 or 00, 00 point 0.1 ohms okay that will show you that your fuse is good or not so guys you see how it is very simple to test your fuse and to know how the fuse is good so i will advise you anytime when you got a fuse take your time to read the reading on the fuse you will see like 250 volt 3m and do not replace the fuse with the lower or the more higher of the prescribed value of the current always replace your fuse with the same prescribed current if you go to your device you take out the fuse of 5m please do replace with 5m if you take a fuse with 2M, 
do replace with 2M. So, another way, replace the fuse with the same prescribed value of current on it. Okay? I hope it's very simple for you now to test your fuse and to know how the fuse protect your device and how to replace your fuse. My name is Alphonse Foku. If this video was helpful for you, do not forget to subscribe to this channel, channel of technician, channel of entrepreneur, channel of business people. Share this video for those who doesn't need it because it's gonna give them few information regarding a fuse. I'll see you next time. As I say, do not forget to watch my next video. Be part of this family, technician family. Good.